First at Ford General Motors, the United Auto Workers have reached a tentative contract. Workers have been on the picket line for almost seven weeks now. 19's Brittany Weir live in Parma with what this could mean, Brittany, for those ready to get back to work. Yeah, this new tentative agreement, it is the next big step in the auto workers strike. Now, auto workers from Ford, Stellantis, and General Motors, they've been on those picket lines for about six weeks. Ford reached an agreement last week, followed by Stellantis on Saturday. And now this new tentative agreement could bring General Motors employees back to work. I'm proud of my UAW leadership up in Detroit. They worked, they worked uh, super hard and uh, spent probably many hours overnight, late nights, and or to, uh, to get what we deserve. Right now, the tentative deal includes raising general wages by 25%, along with the cost of living adjustments. Workers would also get an 11% pay raise upon ratification. This positive news comes after over 200 employees were laid off at General Motors location in Parma. Getting people back to their, their normal life, I mean, just for the city, just getting us back to work and, you know, uh, um, seeing the shops and, 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 and spending money in the community. However, UAW 1005 President Dan Schwartz says he's not ready to celebrate just yet. It's a tentative agreement. Uh, we're waiting to, to see the specifics, the black and white, uh, and uh, take it to the membership. He says he hasn't heard yet when members can expect to go back to work. It's just a waiting game now to get specifics and uh, direction. Now this agreement, it still needs to be ratified, but with the holidays quickly approaching, Schwartz says he wouldn't mind seeing an end to this strike. In Parma, Brittany Weir, 19 News.